So parts E and F for activity 1.9 are about drawing the tangent and secant lines. So first off, this is just, just as a reminder, we found out the average rate of change between 2030 and 2050 was 9,171. So population is going up by about 9,171 people per year on average between 2030 and 2050. We also found P prime of 2 was 7,459. So in the year 2030, our population was increasing at a rate of 7,459 7, people per year. So first thing we're asked is to draw the line connecting for our average rate, representing our average rate of change. So I'm going to come up here from 2 and find my point on my line. And I'm going to do the same thing from 4. I'm just going to use a ruler to make it a, a little bit nicer, a little more accurate. Okay, so when we go to draw our average rate of change, we're going to connect those two points with a secant line. Now our secant line goes on, and if we want to draw it, we can. Right there is the secant line whose slope is our average rate of, is our average rate of change. So that's the slope of our secant line. Now the line for our tangent is going to hit it at one point and mimic the slope of our line. So let's see how we can do there. So about right there for our ruler. And right there is our tangent line. Now what's the f one of the first things we'll notice is our tangent line is not as steep as our secant line. Well, look at the slope for our tangent line compared to the slope for our secant line. It's smaller. It's got a smaller slope, so it should be more shallow. Now what's going to happen as A increases, our tangent line, the slope of our tangent line is going to increase. This is in response to part F. For instance, if we had calculated the derivative at 4 instead of at 2 or in 2050, we would get a line that's even steeper, not only than our tangent line at 2, but steeper than our secant line as well. So we would expect this value to be larger than 9,171. So what we're seeing is as time goes on, the population is not only increasing, but it's increasing at a faster rate. Well, notice our graph is concave up. When a function is con when a graph is concave up, that means we have an increasing rate of change. We're seeing it in this problem. Our population is increasing at an increasing rate.